How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Well, I'm not really on Forza Horizon 4 today, we're just going to have a bit of gameplay while I talk about my channel and me in general. There's been a lot of stuff going on recently, I've mentioned it vaguely in a few videos, but today is the day it's finally done and it's ready for a change. So in this video, I'm kind of just going to explain what's been going on, what's happening right now, and kind of giving you an insight to the future of this channel and also a little bit of a bonus thing halfway through this video as you probably see. Now if you've been a watcher of mine for a long time or if you've seen my video on how I was on the BBC News you'll know, I've got an itchy nose, oh that's horrible, you will know that most of my YouTube streaming and recording setup has been at my nan's in her spare bedroom and this was for several reasons. Number one, my room at my house, my parents house where I live, was too small. You could not fit a bed and a big desk for me monitors and me setup. You couldn't fit it in the room. It was tiny. It's like a bathroom. Well, a bit bigger than a bathroom, but whatever. And two, the internet where we live is not good enough. It is simply not good enough. It's so slow that you cannot upload, you can't stream, you can barely download with it. It's appalling. So last year, at the release of Forza Horizon 4, I decided to move all my setup to my nan's spare bedroom. And this worked very well. Back when I used to stream, it was very useful. I used to get up, go to my nans, get ready to stream, and just stream for a few hours back when I daily streamed. However, daily streaming took a toll on my channel eventually because of the stupid YouTube algorithm. And it ended up me only going to my nans to record. And think of it this way. I get up in the morning, get ready, pack up my Xbox, pop it in my bag, go down to the garage, get my bike, unlock the garage, lock the garage back up, ride to my nan, set my Xbox up and start recording. It's a long process just to record a video. But I didn't really have an alternative because I couldn't bring it back here, the room wasn't big enough and the internet wasn't good enough either. And along with that, that Mac over there, as you can probably see in the background, by the way, I'll address the new room situation in a minute. That Mac I use for editing for another YouTuber, which I've recently started doing. And I'm going to be honest, because the Mac is so good, in my opinion, I've started to edit my own videos on it as well. So that's another reason why I've just not been at my nan's so much, and it's just seemed like a waste to me. So, we've been trying to come up with solutions, and we came up with one. Me and my brother have switched rooms. A couple of days ago, we spent, I think it took 12 hours from start to finish, and we swapped rooms. And because his room is a lot bigger than my one, I now had room for everything I wanted. I could put my Mac safely over there, I could bring my streaming setup back from my nans, I could have my own little gaming area. So it was amazing, we found a workaround, I can now get up and upload, and th this is just one thing that's going to get better, I can upload a lot more and do more videos now because my bed is right there. My bed is right there, I can just get up and record. It's, it's weird. <laughs> Let me just have a quick tour of this room with a few photos and stuff like that. So as you can see, this is my streaming setup or my recording setup. This is where this is where I'll be streaming and recording for the most of it. And then this here is where I play for myself. I've got this TV 4K curved thing facing at my bed. This is where I'm going to play. And then if we look around, that is the, the Mac setup I was on about. This is where I do the editing for the other YouTuber. And to be honest, I do my own editing here as well now. I've kind of got a recording streaming setup and then a editing setup as well. I've got some shelves with a few bits and bobs on it, some G Fuel, some boxes, and some stickers, some random bits as well. And then over there is my bed. Please excuse the messy cables, it's still kind of in progress. We only finished this room yesterday. And yes, that is a dashboard from a Toyota Supra on the radiator. Don't know why I bought it. But yeah, this is the new room now. It's quite a nice room. We've got lots of room for the setup, and this was just not possible in my old room at all. So the room is decent. However, the internet still is not decent. But you're probably thinking, right, you've got more room, but you're still at your house, so your internet is still terrible. And yeah, you're correct. This leads me on to my next point. I did a speed test a few minutes ago of my internet. And let me make sure I'm not showing my IP or anything. This is my internet's speed test. 8 megabytes per second download and 0.4 megabytes per second upload. That is nowhere near good enough to upload or stream with. However, if I do a speed test with 4G, a little bit better. 16 megabytes per second download 
and three to four megabytes per second upload. Now, if I have three to four megabytes per second upload, so another reason that I've decided to move back here is because we have a solution to that, and that is the following. You can get stuff called 4G boosters, which will basically just boost the 4G in your area. And we are actually so lucky because it's only a mile, if not, if not a mile, a mile that way, there is an actual 4G antenna, a 4G tower. It's just over there, which means that if we get a 4G booster and we can point it there, we can get some insane speed tests, insane, right to this room, which will mean I can upload straight from here. I can stream as much as I want straight from here without having to worry about the internet connection. And along with this, obviously, I'm going to be able to upload a lot more. What I'm planning, I'm going to keep doing Forza Horizon 4. Obviously, Forza is my strong point. We're going to be smashing the new Need for Speed, which is going to come out apparently in 2019. And I also want to start doing motor logs as well. Some of you may know I have quite a nice bike. It's one of the only wrapped Z900s in the world. It's probably one of the loudest as well. It's just, it's such a nice bike. I put so much work into it and I want to start doing videos with it as well. So what I thought I'd do right now is we're going to get on my bike and we're going to do a little bit of a motor vlog for a few minutes at the end of this video. And what we're going to do is I'm going to ride over to that 4G antenna and we're going to do a speed test and we're going to have a look exactly how much speed I should hopefully get at this house if we can get a line of sight on that antenna. So I thought we'd do a little bit of a ride out. So um, we're going to jump on the bike in a minute and I'm going to ride down to the antenna. We'll do a speed test and keep talking about what's going to happen. Um, I'm not sure when this 4G boost is going to come. It's probably tomorrow, maybe today. I don't know, today or tomorrow, something like that. But if we can get some really even better 4G in this area, we're going to be smashing out the uploads and it's all going to be done from this room. So yeah, to put it short, you can expect some different kind of uploads on this channel. I'm not going to go mental because I don't want to kind of die as a channel. I want to keep Forza going, keep Need for Speed up on the go as well. We'll get that going and do little gimmicky bits and bobs like the bike vlogs and stuff like that. But what we're going to do right now, we're going to go and jump on my bike right now and take a ride over to that 4G antenna so we can do a speed test and have a look at what we're going to get. Okay, so, as I was saying, we're off for a little trip out on the bike over to the antenna, which is somewhere over there, I believe. I'm just going to pull up the side of the road and do a speed test and hope that it's, hope that it's fast. Apparently this booster will give us similar results to if we're right near it, so let's have a look at the speeds. A uh, bit of a bump, oh right in the testes. So as I said right now, currently I get about 15 megabytes per second download and 4 upload. So hopefully this is miles faster than that. So let me know what all this is like, I think this audio could be absolutely terrible, I won't know, there'll probably be some text on screen explaining if it is, but I've kind of gone the long way around since I don't really want to show where I live. Oh god, your indicators are rubbish. Oh, he's indicating as well, I could have gone then. Let's go! Oh, great. There's a tractor man. I don't really want to have to overtake him, especially, uh, oh, he's, uh, he's going for it. That's a bit of a blind corner, mate, but yeah, I'm not risking that. Um, yeah, so as you can see, it's just trees over there and that's where the house is. So it's just trees and fields in the way of that antenna. I believe that's it right there. Yes, that's it right there. I'm kind of looking. at it there it is so if we can get near that and test out the 4g this should be good i really hope this guy isn't going right no he's going left he's going left right we're going right here we are there's the antenna right there you can see that can't you right let's pull out let's get closer Okay, there's a bit of a wheel spin then. We're gonna stop here, we're gonna stop right here. 
There it is, boys. The antenna right there. Right, we're going to stop. I'm in fourth gear. Let me just... <laughs> if that's the antenna, let's have a look what the 4G test is like. Is there a man there? I don't know. I don't want to annoy anyone. Right, speed test. I'm not sure if the camera can see this. Oh, well, that went well. Oh, it'd help if I turn my data on, wouldn't it? Here we go. Oh yes, I'm not sure if you can see that camera. 101, d oh yes. 101 megabytes per second download and 50 upload. That's 50 times faster than at home and 10 times faster than the 4G at home. So if we can get anything similar to that with this booster that's coming tomorrow, we can expect a lot of live streams and a lot of videos. Right, let's go home. So yeah, this was just a bit of a preview of what some of the bike videos will be like. Let's make sure no one's coming. Yep. So yeah, I think that's it for the vlog. I don't want to show where I live, obviously. So um, let's go back to the garage or home. So there we go, success. Not only have I made sure that the 4G antenna, which is literally over there, gives me some insane speeds, more than good enough to live stream with at HD and download at a nice high speed as well. Hopefully once we get this booster, it should be in line of sight of that antenna and it should bring us from four megabytes upload to 50 which is insane. And this is also a little bit of a sneak peek of a video that could come in the future to do with bike vlogging. I hope you all have enjoyed this video, guys. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. So as soon as this booster comes tomorrow, I'm sure I'll be making a comment on it on Twitter or something. It might not come tomorrow, it might be the day after tomorrow, but I'm sure I'm gonna mention on Twitter how it's all going. So please follow me on there if you want any updates. But anyway, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all. Later.